So we got the Hustler Resonator Spring. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I thought I thought it was a spring to help it to kind of flex some so when it's in the wind and all. I'm not exactly sure. Boy, is it tight. Okay, this is the 20 meter Hustler antenna. And it looks like it's pretty short, relatively short. It does come with this hex tool. Okay, and I do believe that you can adjust this right here. Oh yeah, this goes way down. It comes out a good six inches, so there's a lot of room there to modify. All right, guys, so I've got that mag mount that I was mentioned, and this is the Hustler RM20S. It's pretty short, actually. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not super, super secure or happy about this. I, I'm gonna go in the highway and go to my mom's house about two, three hours away. I just don't wanna leave this up here on that long, long road going 75. The speed limit here in Oklahoma is 75 and even 80 in parts. Um, okay, so I put the antenna analyzer up to this and it's very much painful, but you have to undo these and go up and down, up and down. The best I could do with the antenna analyzer is 2.0 SWR, okay? But then, even with that, I came in here and decided just to hook it up to this radio and it's showing a zero SWR and I'll just show you if I key down on FM the SWR is right there um, I'm on really low power um, SWR is really good on this radio of course it's got a little tuner but anyway I'm gonna call CQ and then I'm gonna go check out the reverse beacon network let's let's do that right now before before we take this on the road First of all, we got to put a little power into it. I'm going to raise it up to about 10 watts. Now I can see the SWR. It, I wasn't running enough power through this, so it actually does has, have about a 3 SWR. So using the tuner there and about eight watts there we go I actually don't want anyone to come back to me. I just want to check the reverse beacon network. Seems like it's pretty quiet out there. All right, guys, let's check the reverse beacon network. Okay, I was gonna ask you guys, do you trust this on the road? This thing is massively heavy. I mean, if you get your finger caught as you're putting that down, which I've done, bam, it hits. Now, granted, it's super heavy, but do you really, really want your antenna doing that? Um, as I mentioned, the best I could get was 2.0 SWR. Um, that's the best I could do doing this. I even lost one of the little screws here. That's so annoying. Those things are so tiny. I gotta tighten that down, but. I'm trying to contact my good friend Jason right now and he is unbelievably faint for me. I don't have a great antenna is the problem. 
He's pushing out 600 watts, I think. Good. 